put on a quite brilliant performance in the men's program. He is a god. And now to the goddess. Number eight, representing Japan, Mao Asada. Twice a world champion. Back in 2008, she was world champion. She was just 17 years of age there. World champion again in Torino two years later. Runner-up to Kim Yuna in the Olympics. This is the year where she hopes to overturn that. Can she do it? She was terrific in Skate America. The winner there. Skating for gold here. Music from Chopin. And here's the incredible Mao Asada. Her signature move is the triple axel, which is scheduled right now. Good enough. Well, she looked to have had the rotation there. Not quite control at the end and a double footed landing. Combination now. Didn't put it in. Triple flip should have been a double loop on the end of it, so we have to wait for that. Didn't look like she was going to go for it. So what combination does she go for? Triple loop, double loop. A little smile, and now surely a beaming smile. Look at them rise. She didn't disappoint. The only woman in the world in competition who goes for triple axel, and that may be the difference between gold and silver, not just in the Grand Prix, but in Worlds and Olympics. Look at the flowers. That's just a measure, a small measure of her popularity. Actually, I, I can tell you that the, the triple axel didn't make the difference at all. Because it was the first element, we got a chance to really see what the judges were giving it. The triple axel on its own has a base value of 8.5, and the score came up straight away of 6.5. So the technical panel had given her the, the credit for the triple axel, so fully rotated. But the judges, as it was double-footed, gave her minus 2, which takes it down to 6.5. Right. Now, if she'd done a good triple Lutz which has got a base value of six, and they'd given her plus twos on it, or even 
a plus one, it would have been worth 6.7 or 7.4. So you yes. can see the Absolutely. balance of the program. But Absolutely. The, the rest of the program was very, very good indeed. And the quality of everything else that she did is going to get the, the technical score because the grade of execution is going to go up. Component score is going to be great because of the polish and the maturity that she has. So she's going to win that hands down. Well, she's going to go into the lead. The question is how far in the lead is she going to be? Remember, Suzuki still to come, her main rival. Here is the triple axel. Yeah, just watch this. Pretty sure it was clean. Lovely and quick into that rotational position. You see just a touchdown with the free foot, and then she spins out of it. So not the control at the end. Forward outside edge, little skid to get her going there. Snaps into the right foot. Now just watch the end of it. Is it round? So it's slightly under rotated. We'll give her that. As anything. Give her that, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she should get it. I'm pretty sure they gave it to her. They'll, they'll have reviewed it. We look at it again and again and again. Remember, she's the only person, only lady in the world at the moment doing this. Grace has been working on it, and you can bet your bottom dollar it won't be long before she's doing it. Here's the flip. Lovely and clean on that. Again, a bit over the bottom toe pick. Inside edge of the left foot, which is exactly right, snaps into the position. The leg goes high, and then she presses that left leg down. Beautifully clean on the way out of that. You see a little scratchy. Spins were good. Yeah, I'd expect a big score for that program. Career best 75.84. I don't think it's going to be near that. But 70, I reckon. The judges have been marking high. 60. 2.83, the joint leaders, going to be clear of that, how far clear? Oh yes, 71.26. Not overwhelmed, but she is a comfortable leader now with just her compatriot Suzuki to go.